Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here with Mega Lead Conversion, and we're going to talk today about what do you do with those people who every time you call them, they're on the fence about whether or not they want to move. So I'm going to role play today with Josh Stevenson. Hey, Josh. There he is. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun teaching you how do you get people off the fence and into action. All right, so we're gonna say that I've already called Josh two or three times and I'm noticing a pattern that every time I call him, it's a procrastination. Hey, can you just call me later? I just don't know, I'm not sure what I wanna do. So we're gonna jump into the call. I've already opened the call. I've talked to him about moving and he's like, I don't know, can you just call me later? And I'm gonna insert into that part of the conversation. So, all right, Josh. Well, I can totally appreciate the request to call you later. I also know the last few times we've talked, you've been kind of on the fence and I'd love to just help get this off your mind for you and just decide one way or the other, what makes sense. So do you have a pen and paper real quick? Yes. Awesome, okay. Take that piece of paper and down the middle, draw a line. And on the left, I want you to write pros. And on the right, I want you to write cons. Okay, Josh, what are all the pros that you can imagine when you think of moving? What are all of the pros? Well, I'd love to be closer to my, my kids and grandkids. Um, I'd love to get away from this neighborhood. It's just really far out. It's 30 minutes to the grocery store. Um, and uh, just being able to, to be somewhere I could actually uh, enjoy and uh, get to the place where I really wanna be, more space and closer to the family. Okay. All right. What else is a positive when you think about moving? Um, I think uh, it's it's fun to look at houses. Um, okay. and it's fun to sort of dream and think um, about those possibilities. Okay. What else is a positive to moving? Um, <laughs> that's probably about it. Okay. I, yeah. So I have closer to family, closer to the kids and grandkids. You'd be you're right now. You're 30 minutes out, so you'd be a lot closer to everything. Mm -hmm. You would enjoy more space and plus it's just fun to check out real estate. Yeah. What are the negatives that make you think, no way, I don't want to move and let's write those down under cons. Yeah. Well, I, I just think there's no way I'm going to find as nice of a place as I have now. Um, okay. And it's just, oh, it's so tough. Like if I, I saw a house I liked the other day and then it's gone. And mm -hmm. so I just, I don't know that I can actually find the right house or be able to find a house that's nice enough. So. I don't know. I've got a really nice house here. So why, why should I give that up? Okay. So the, the cons are, can you find the right house and would it be a nice house? What else is a negative to moving? If anything, it's a lot of work, all the stuff in the house and I don't want to have to move that. Okay. That's legit. <laughs> what else is a negative? Well, what if I don't get as much for my house as I, I need? And so then I might have to not have as much money to move. Um, yeah, more expensive. What else is a negative when you think about moving? I think that's everything. Okay. So what I'm hearing you say, Josh, is the pros to moving are you'd be closer to your kids and grandkids. You'd be 30 minutes closer because right now you're kind of far from everything. You would enjoy a new house and having more space. And plus it's just fun to, to do real estate and have a new place. The negatives are, can you find a nice place in the, in the right house? It's a lot of work to move and it might be more expensive. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, clearly we need to answer some of the questions about can we find the right house and things like that. But assuming we can, can you ever get closer to your kids and grandkids, closer to everything, 30 minutes closer, have more space, enjoy a new house without going through the process of figuring out what your house is worth, going through the work and making sure you find the right place. Can you ever get the pros without going through the cons? No. Okay. I so would, what do you think yeah. you should do? I guess I need to, to find out how much the, the house is worth and then uh, sort of see if if it if it would be possible and how much I, I would have out of my house so that I could see how much I could spend on the next house. Okay. Well, let's see what we need to do to make that happen, Josh. Um, let me ask you some questions about your house so that I can then help you figure out what it's worth and also about the house you wanna buy and just see if it's doable. Because I agree, if you wanna be closer to your kids and grandkids, closer to everything, have more space, at some point, you're gonna have to go through packing everything up, figuring out what your house is worth and finding a new place that's nice. So let's see what we can do to make that happen. And then we'll stop there. 
Awesome. So we teach this full process in the class Mega League Conversion, which starts November 8th. In that class, and Josh knows because he's been in there, we spend about an hour teaching this. So it really goes much more in depth in the class, but there's a little sneak peek of the pros and cons. This works super well to get people off the fence. Sometimes they say, no, I don't want to move, but sometimes they say yes. And the good thing is either way, we just get them off the fence and we know who to spend our time with. So join us in the class Mega League Conversion starting November 8th, and we'll do a much deeper dive into this and a whole lot more. Anything else you want to add, Josh? Class is fantastic, wonderful. Uh, I'm from the South, and so in the South, you always ask people how they're doing. And I have stopped asking people how they're doing and said, seeing myself as the real estate professional. Um, and so I had a conversation with buyers yesterday and said, set the example and the next steps. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's when it's gonna happen. And here's what you're gonna do. And they didn't give me any pushback. It was just like, okay, that's all we wanna know. And it was like, <laughs> The, here's the process and here's what you do. Now here's, we're gonna sign the paperwork and then we're gonna start looking at homes. That sounds great. And yeah. <laughs> it was, it's wonderful.